This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Let's talk about the O drug, Ozempic. Um, made headlines sort of mid last year, didn't it, as the popular weight loss drunk designed for diabetics. And then they realised the effect of weight loss was evident when someone was taking the drugs. Then there was the initial issue where people who had diabetes that needed the drugs couldn't actually get the drug because everybody realised that if I get my hands on it, then I can lose some weight. Yes. That's when it became Hollywood's best friend. Then it ended up here in Australia, guys, and I know a couple of people that have been on it. Hasn't done a lot for them, to be honest, or maybe I just missed the part where they lost the weight and now they've put it back on again. Um, I feel like there's a lot more people on it, though. Is it fair to say? The more people I speak to... I mean, word of mouth is... And from what I've heard, um, the nausea that you actually... Mm. that occurs and the side effects... I feel like now people are getting over that, Kate. You know, it, f- first up, it's really hard. Yeah. Um, but now people are becoming accustomed to feeling like that all the time, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, and I think couldn't think of anything worse. I think some people are so desperate to yeah. look a certain way. You know, not the people that need the drug, but the people who are thinking, oh my goodness, I can be Instagram mm-hmm. ready in eight weeks oh, if I don't. We all dream it, of it. If I if I do this, I think the the want to drop the weight and look a certain way mm. outweighs the, uh, the, you know, a little bit of vomiting. $1,400 per month for your dose. What? Yeah, the cost, is that how expensive it is? The cost of um, skinning's gone up. Skinning's cost of living skinny. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. This mm. starts... <laughs> Thumbs it sta- down. It starts to go on. <laughs> Thumbs down. It starts to go on in this article and talk about how um, you can roughly lose, and um, quite quickly you can lose 10% of your body weight. Now, that's quite a significant amount, and you would hope to do that on o- Ozempic in around three months' time. So that's fairly rapid weight loss, well, two not to three as, months. I, didn't, I thought it was quicker than that. Maybe it is quicker for some people, but here's the problem. The recent articles uh, that have been written about it, and it's GLP-1, which is the actual medicine, uh, it's come under fire for a host of reported side effects, including suicidal thoughts, bowel injuries, and even weight gain when you come off it. Mm. Here's the thing. This woman's gone on to say that she lost 20 pounds, uh, and then since then... She's put on 30 once she stopped taking Ozempic. Mm. Yeah, but that's claiming, the same with any diet. This is the never thing. ending Pe- snacking. Um, yeah, but, but see, people go on diets, they do really, really well, and then, you know, you, you relapse. You know what? You'll have a couple of big weekends or whatever, and you put it back on. Yeah. I mean, that's always going to happen. Well, you would think it's, so too if the idea of the drug is to stop the cravings. So if you've stopped yourself feeling hungry, then the minute you come off that, well, nothing's going to change, is it? You're just going to go back to the old snack man. Here he is. Look, he's got his hand in the cookie jar again. Yeah, you've just you've ch- you've changed whatever it is the ke- the, the chemical workings yeah. during that period. You've just the, delayed the cookie jar. The, 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 you have to change your your mental, I guess, yeah, you do. Your, your attitude towards food and exercise and health. And I think that's where the issue comes in too, Kate, because you get off the Ozempic, the next thing you know, you start putting all the weight on again, then you feel disappointed in yourself and then you become flat and then there might be some mental health issues. So that's what they're citing as one of the big issues with Ozempic. Is it easy to get 13, 20, 4, 10? Can you just go to your local GP to get it? Because I thought it was a diet for diabetics and it, and it was really hard to get. You had to know certain people to get well, it. Well, I told you the story when I went to a GP and I, we were talking about snoring and she said, there's one way you can reduce snoring. And I said, oh, what's that? And she said, lose some weight. And I said, yeah, I need to work on that. And she said, well, there's a quicker way we could do it. Well, oh, can't su- you can't suggest that for me. Why? Hmm? Why? Well, for obvious reasons. Why? Not what, that big. What do you mean? Oh, sorry. Oh, there was a... Uh, there's... Uh, mate, you've had, a, you've had a good run over Christmas. Bit of an awkward pause from, Oh, no, from the I didn't. Room. Sorry, that came across... I didn't come across the way... I intended pretty, pretty it. Pretty obvious, I, I, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't need it. But see, I no, did. To, to, it's, it's all relative. To a, to a cl- that what I find really weird is, like, like you said, Kate, you, it, it is a chemical that you are injecting yourself with. And then mm. that, that feeling, when your body is rejecting it and you feel crook, that's where I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to feel like that to lose weight. No. To feel crook that you uh, forcing yourself not to eat. 
and that's how you lose the weight. It, I, I don't know. Are you getting enjoyment out of that at all? Because you're well, thinking I think, about. I think some people do get a level of enjoyment around being in control of things. Because I think there are sure. other areas where. You know, it's not just a Zempic that people use to mm. lose weight that is that's unhealthy for you know your mental health and and body health. I think what you're talking about is effort and reward fits, and that's what I've been trying to teach the kids now. If you want an ice cream this afternoon, that's fine. We're going for a run now, so then you know you've got your reward, and you only get that when the effort's put in. So I think that's sort of the um, the better way of doing things. Yeah. Oh look, well they say that about anything, don't they? Every everything in moderation, consistency is key, mm-hmm. um, and you deserve it. But you deserve to look no, good. No, well, this is my new... This is my new <laughs> oh, this is your new slogan, you des- isn't it? You deserve, you and, deserve I, and it. And when I say you deserve it, I don't mean the cheeseburger. You don't... Well, but maybe you do if you want you a mean, cheeseburger. You deserve that cheeseburger. But you deserve to feel the best version of you, whatever that may be. If you were going, like, if I had to go to... Um, let's say I was invited to um, an overseas... Wedding. This is weird. This is a weird hypothetical. Yeah. It's an overseas wedding oh. and you've got to turn up in budgie smugglers. Right? Okay. So event based. Well, that's never going to happen to you because yeah. you have a job that you couldn't possibly leave just to uh, gallivant yeah. to the okay. other Referencing side of last the world. Year. Yeah. But then you might take Ozempic for um, an event knowing that this wasn't serious weight loss, but I tell you what, I need to look good for one night only type thing. Would you do that? I don't think I don't think that's a healthy way of you living. See, you need a, you need a way a, like a lifestyle yeah. change. Quick, I, quick I things don't last. Who, I know a woman who's on it, and she will have it the day before she goes out that night because obviously she wants to look good, Kate. But then she said, "I really struggle when I go out and drink because I feel crooked the whole time. Oh. I, yeah. I'm not I'm not at my best." But what? so then she's. She's got stomach cramps and she, look, that's great. She doesn't want to eat, but you know what? She's not enjoying the night because she's feeling nauseous. Yeah, I I think we might need to change the way we think about things because even when we talk about looking good, Mm. we're always referencing being thinner or yeah. smaller or a harder Long. harder in the torso as looking good. And if I'm carrying more weight, I'm not looking good. Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.